Hey YouTube, uh, I wanted to show you guys how to modify the controller of the Hubson H501S. Uh, this is a simple modification and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually putting on the antennas to better the range of the FPV and also the actual range for the antenna for the flight controls. It's a pretty simple mod but I'm going to show you how, how it's done. Um, first of all, you're going to need a drill, you're going to need a screwdriver, and some patience maybe. So we're going to start by taking out the batteries back here, ripping all those out. And then there's going to be four screws that hold this backing plate on, so we're going to head and, go ahead and take those out there. Alright, so now that we've got the four screws out, they're pretty dang teeny, so make sure you don't lose those guys. Um, now that, like I say, now that we've got the screws out, let's go ahead and try to tear this controller in half without breaking anything too much. All right, there we go. So now if you look on this side here, that's the antenna for the FPV. And then over here is the antenna for the range of the controller. Now, if you look right here, that is the connector that we're going to be removing to install the new antennas. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed my really small flathead screwdriver here. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just kind of pry up on this thing very carefully. Try not to break anything off or snap it off. Sometimes you can get it with your fingernails. There we go. Just like that. So now that that has been removed from there, we're going to go ahead and there's just a little bit of hot glue right here that's kind of holding it in place. So we're just going to rip that out, cut it off, just get it out of the way. No need for that anymore. There we go. Pull that out of the way. Now we're going to pull the antenna out here too because this is actually also hot glued in place as well. Just bust that hot glue off. Pull the sticky foam that's holding it on off. And there you go. That's the teeny antenna for the flight controls. So I'm going to show you a little comparison of the two and you guys can go ahead and tell me what one you think is going to do a little bit better. So you've got the stock factory one and then you got the one that we're going to be putting on right there. And this one will also fold and bend. That way you can point it towards wherever the quadcopter is. But to get this new one on, we are going to have to drill some holes to feed this through. And if you look right there, there's actually kind of a spot grooved out for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole right there to feed that through. And so for that, that's where the drill comes in handy. And this drill bit here, I believe, is actually a 730 seconds. We're going to give this one a shot and see if it fits just fine. What you want is for the drill bit to match the diameter of that there, of the threads. So we're just going to go ahead and carefully drill this out. Make sure to be careful that you don't hit the board or anything. Then you can test fit this to make sure that it goes in. See, we're not quite there yet. So I'm actually just going to take this drill bit and just kind of ream it out a little. Until it does fit. Because you do kind of want a tighter snug fit. You don't want it loose in there with the ability of moisture and everything getting in there. Look at that, perfect. So now we can go ahead and pull this back out. And then we'll feed it through the inside here. Oh, 
hopefully you're a little bit more skilled than I am. Man, that guy just doesn't want to go in there. There we go. So just like that. Now the kit came with some washers and some nuts to kind of help lock it into place. That way it doesn't keep coming loose on you. And so we're gonna we're gonna stick some of those on there because I really don't want to be doing this time and time again. So you have a little lock washer there and a little nut that'll go on the end. So we'll stick the lock washer on first and we'll stick that little nut on there. Now I'm just going to finger tighten this for now. I'll go ahead and come back a little later and tighten it up with some wrenches. Um, and then here, you're going to want to route this little cable it's kind of out of the way. It's a little bit longer than the factory one, but you're going to want to make sure that it's in a place where it's not going to get pinched or anything like that. And if you wanted to, you could even hot glue it back up to this top here, um, kind of like how the factory antenna was. But to get this one back on, you're just going to put that little pin back into place. And again, just carefully snap it back in there. We can do that. Too afraid of breaking things here. Oh, there we go. Just like that. You want to make sure that it has a little, a little snap to it to make sure it's securely on there. But like I say, you might want to just kind of wrap this somewhere where it won't get pinched or in the way of anything like that of the casing that we put back on. Um, and then the FPV is actually, the FPV antenna is gonna be actually the same. So I'm gonna spare you guys the time of watching that. But you're gonna to wanna to do the exact same identical thing to that as well. Um, and then we can go ahead and put the controller back together. Simple as that. So you'll just put the casing back on, make sure all the wires are in place, making sure that there's no way that they'll be getting pinched and we will screw that back together. All right, now that we've got the screws put back in there, the only last step that there is, is to screw this antenna back on. I'll screw it on just like so. Now when you're flying it, you're gonna want this antenna pointing with the drone facing that direction. That way it has the best chance of receiving signal like that. And that's really all there is. And then you can go ahead and do the, the FPV portion. Um, I'm not going to quite do mine just yet. I want to see how well this factory antenna will do um, with this uh, control antenna. I want to see if the FPV will still reach clearly. And if it will, I probably won't really waste my time too much with this. But later, I, later down the road, I might actually install this and give it a shot and see how it turns out. Well, thanks, guys. Like I say, that's just how to modify the controller or the, or the transmitter, as some people call it, for the Hubson H501S to get better range and signal. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.